guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you recognize me I know I haven't uploaded in a while I don't know why but I do know why it's because I've just been kind of lazy about it just been kind of unmotivated I don't know but that's besides the point because here we are here we are so I had someone request um, a video I like a drink recipe which was a dairy-free pumpkin cream cold foam option which they requested like two weeks ago and I'm sorry it took me so long, but um, here we are. I should have made it in October because it was prime pumpkin season and I'm kicking myself in the ass for not doing it then because now it's all about like peppermint and shit because you know, Christmas, which I get. But who's to say you can't have a pumpkin latte situation, cold foam situation in December? I'm not gonna stop you. You know what I'm saying? So. With all that being said, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a pumpkin cream cold foam that is dairy free. Now, I know what you're thinking. Easy. You can do it with like almond milk or oat milk, which you can, but it's not going to turn out as thick as what I'm going to show you is. It's going to be really thick and creamy. It's going to sit on top of your cold brew like heavy cream would, but it's going to be dairy free. So like what more could you ask for? You know what I'm saying? Um, so what you're going to need is a can of coconut milk, full fat. Or you can use a can of coconut cream, which is what I use today, like just like canned coconut cream. Which I hadn't used before, and I was a little nervous because I opened the can this morning and I was like, please be the same consistency as coconut milk, just a little thicker. And it is, it's just like a smaller can. And so what you can do with like the can of coconut milk or the can of coconut cream is just throw it into a mason jar and put a lid on it and shake it so that way it incorporates, like it'll mix because... When you open a can of coconut milk or coconut cream, it's like liquid at the top and then the fat or like the cream is at the bottom. So you need to like pour it into something to mix it together if you know what I'm saying. And then you're also going to need um, a can of pumpkin puree. And, <clears throat> and then so you're gonna need the can of coconut cream or coconut milk and then you're gonna need a can of pumpkin puree and then a sweetener of choice. I'm gonna be using maple syrup, like pure maple syrup, I'm not talking like Aunt Jemima no no we're not doing that because some people look at me like i'm crazy when i say i put maple syrup in my coffee like no sis i'm not like putting like artificially flavored like butter or maple syrup in my coffee like no not to say you can't because i'm not gonna stop you but we're not doing that here no we're not doing that here. okay it's pure maple syrup i get it from costco um or you can use like agave or you can use Vanilla syrup if you have it, or like cane sugar, whatever you want, whatever suits your fancy, whatever floats your boat, whatever plays your flute, you know, whatever you want, you can use it. I'm not going to judge you. And then um, you're going to need cold brew or espresso or some kind of coffee, you know, like you want to use Nescafe? I don't use Nescafe. <laughs> I hate instant coffee. You know in the whole like DeLonga, 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 whatever the hell, however you say it, the whip shit, the whip coffee it was in, I was making that and I was like, I'm drinking it for the hype, you know, like, woo, this is so cool, it's whipped, no, hurt the hell out of my stomach. Today, I'm going to be using cold brew, but like I said, whatever coffee you want to use, if you don't want to use coffee, use chai, you know, like, I'm not here to stop you. The world is your oyster, there's unlimited possibilities. With all of that being said, because I've been talking for like four minutes straight, and I talk relatively quickly, so I feel like this probably dragged on for you. Let's get into the recipe. Okay, so there's about a tablespoon of pumpkin puree, and I just put it into this. Now, this is what the coconut cream consistency will look like, or coconut milk, and you just shake it up. Like I said, I just pour the whole contents of what's in the jar, or the can, into a jar, and then just shake it up. And then it'll mix together. And it'll kind of look like this. I don't know if you can see that well. You know, it's just kind of like a thick ass cream. Now, depending on how much cream you want, you can add one to two tablespoons of the coconut cream. Uh, it can be a little chunky still, don't worry about it, because we're gonna froth it and then it'll mix together. So I'm gonna add, 
like two tablespoons of the coconut cream to the pumpkin puree. Like I said, if you want less cream, like just add less, don't worry about it. Okay, I totally forgot to mention this, but we're gonna add some pumpkin pie spice or like pumpkin seasoning. Is that what's called pumpkin pie season? I don't you know what I'm talking about. Um if you don't like the spiciness and like pumpkin drinks, like feel free to not add it, but I'ma just add it. Cause I kinda like that. As you can tell, I just kinda eyeballed it. So feel free to add as much as you think you're gonna like in there. You know your taste better than me. And then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of maple syrup or your sweetener of choice, as I said before. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a hand frother. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention that too. I'm like not good at this or whatever. Um, <laughs> you need a hand frother and you're just gonna froth everything together. Now this can take a minute because like I said, there's probably gonna be some choke, like chunks of the coconut cream. Um, don't worry about it, it's fine. It's all part of the process. I'd say do this for like 20 to 30 seconds until like you don't see any lumps from the coconut cream in here. Now. Now we have our ice, obviously, and then I'm gonna add cold brew. Like I said, anything you want. I'm gonna give it a good amount of room so that way I have room for the cream because I kind of made too much, but it's okay. You're like a thick girl, like I said. Now we're gonna add the cream on top of the coffee, whatever you have. Whether it be cold brew. And do you see how thick that is? Like she's thick. I added a little too much cream, so feel free to like not add that much cream. You know? Okay, camera, can we not do that? But yeah, she's really thick. Feel free to not add that much cream. Totally don't have to, but I made it, so I'm like, I'm just gonna add it, whatever. trying to figure out the lighting and I don't know I could look really pale right now but I tried the ISO is not working with me here she is I did mix it and I know there's a whole thing about like don't mix cold brew you're supposed to drink the foam first no 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 but I'm at home and I wanted to mix it so I mixed it and if you have a problem with it don't mix it okay. oh that's so good mmm Yep. In case I didn't mention, it is like 6.20 in the morning right now and I have work at 7.30, but if I try and record in the afternoons, I won't do it. I just won't, is what I've noticed, like I'm just lazy. And I just want to sleep and like not do jack shit. So I made my ass get up this morning to make this. And like, oh, drinking this is what I needed to wake up. Now that I'm looking at my camera, I definitely feel like I look really overexposed. We're going to have to deal with that for now. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you try this, and I hope the person that commented this is still even subscribed to me, because they're probably like, this bitch is never even going to make my video. She's so inconsistent. You're right. 
I am inconsistent, but I did make the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope the person that wanted to see how to make this, I hope this is helpful for you, and yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Um, happy Kwanzaa. That's coming up too. Um, yeah, and then if you don't celebrate any of those, well, happy Monday, because today's Monday. can't believe I'm doing this on Monday. Six in the morning. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, I kind of rambled a lot, but subscribe to my channel. Helps your girl out. I do appreciate it. I really do. Um, comment down below if you guys have any video ideas you want to see or anything like that. Yeah. Sorry, it took me so long to upload, but better late than never. And that's my alarm because I'm not even supposed to be awake right now. Have a good day, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are.